Hello, hello everybody. Welcome in. It's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot and this is going to be the general daily collective message for October the 10th. Keep in mind, timing and energy is still fluid. This message could play out today or over the next several days. This message may or may not be for you. So please only take with you what resonates. Chunk the rest. We're going to talk about some astrology aspects and then we're going to jump in uh, with the cards. And so how is everybody feeling after that Aries full moon? Uh, drop a comment below and let me know how you handled those very intense fiery energies over the weekend. Today we have Mercury re-entering into Libra in the sixth house of Virgo. And Virgo is a service axis. The sixth house deals with career or health. And so with uh, Mercury returning into Libra, it's going to be here until the 29th, the day before Mars stations retrograde and so I feel uh, we're, we're all being a little bit more diplomatic and friendly with Mercury and Libra and so we're gonna we're gonna be able to have a more rational approach when it comes to our one-on-one -on -one relationships and so this really is a good time about thinking of ways to improve our communication skills within relationships and so this can be uh, a bit of a challenge more than usual, I feel, especially when it comes to making decisions. It is this energy of kind of sitting on the fence, teeter-tottering on the fence. And so uh, you may come to realize that maybe you've too easily accommodated others' opinions in order to just keep the peace. Libra likes to keep the peace, right? And so... Uh, we we are learning to assert ourselves, right, without appearing to be the bad guy. Usually, Libra energy is very relaxed, and, and we like to see all sides of the coin. We like to see the best in everybody. And when we put in those firm boundaries, people like get shocked and think we're the bad guy because we're finally standing up for ourselves. And so uh, this is a time of uh, getting down to the nitty-gritty. It is about mending bridges, mending fences, and finding a way to harmonize relationships in our lives. And so this is going to be a powerful period over the coming two weeks when it comes to considering other people's points of view uh, and coming to a fair conclusion when it comes to relationships because we can't keep sitting on the fence, right? We kind of have to make a decision. We have to mediate. We have to negotiate. And we have to reach a level of compromising uh, within relationships. And so you might be finding yourself uh, thinking frequently over the coming weeks of how to interact more peacefully within all of your personal relationships. My kitties here just driving me crazy right now. And so... Um, I feel this is this is like the justice energy, right? And so uh, during this Mercury cycle, we're going to figure out what we dislike, what we want to avoid. You might find people being rude or self-centered when it comes to some communications. And you're going to want to avoid extreme opinions. Uh, although Libra likes to be fair to everybody involved, I feel uh, this energy is asking us to find an efficient way to communicate. I think it is about getting organized. And uh, with Mercury transiting through the sixth house today, you're gonna want to pay more attention than usual to any health or work-related issues because the sixth house does deal with work and health. And so concentration is gonna be in focus because uh, Mercury will make some very difficult aspects which will make us feel very nervous or maybe worried about something. And with Venus uh, forming an opposition to Chiron, this aspect is always about uh, the relationship you have with yourself more than the relationship that you have to others. And so um, until we learn to build a healthy relationship with ourselves and to build a healthy uh, amount of self-esteem, healthy self-worth, we're going to keep repeatedly ending up in relationships with partners that will end up provoking us when it comes to this wounding and maybe even adding additional wounding into that core wound being triggered. Um, the Chiron energy is the wounded healer. We all have a core wound. And so I feel there's a lot of fear of rejection coming up when it comes to maybe a lover or a relationship. And it doesn't matter how much you do for a person, maybe you're feeling like it's never enough. Um, and so any early childhood experiences of rejection 
are helping us learn about love and healthy relationships, right? And so when we master fear of rejection, then we can apply our wisdom on such a deep personal level. And so this is going to be a challenge, right? We need to heal our own deep-seated fears of not being good enough. Otherwise, we're going to keep being met with the same person, different face, and they're going to make us feel not good enough in order for us to learn ways to love ourselves. And we have to make sure in partnerships we're being met halfway. It has to be reciprocal, right? And so, so many of us keep attracting partners in need of help, in need of healing, in need of saving. And we're not here to save anybody. We can't give anybody any amount of self-worth if they don't have that from the, from the inside out, right? And so... Uh, when we keep attracting these people that need help, our love life is going to inevitably keep manifesting all of these repressed uh, states of fear and stress, which could lead to sudden outbursts of pain, right? And so that's where we project and we deflect all of our pains onto another. And so uh, when we attract these people in need of healing, uh, they come into our life to balance our inner wound in some way. But usually the strain of the relationship will be a heavy burden. And this is where many, I feel, in the energies today are going to be forced to face their own pain once and for all. And so in order to let good things come to you, we have to be brave, we have to face this pain, and we have to acknowledge that this does exist. So we can quit acting upon projecting this energy onto another and we can reach a place of equality. When we heal ourselves, then we can become happy and we can attract better in our lives. And so um, we're gonna be very sensitive to any criticizing energies today. And uh, you might be finding yourself feeling like you're just not good enough. Or maybe you're feeling like your capacity to earn money is directly related to what it is that you believe you deserve, right? And so our, our distorted beliefs uh, can be a block on the spiritual journey. So get ready to face any distorted beliefs in the energies today. So let's jump in with some cards guys and we'll see what other messages need to come through for the collective today i'm hoping i can get through the reading without interruption happy thanksgiving to all of my canadian subscribers it is thanksgiving this weekend and so i did a lot of family stuff and yesterday was just a really lazy uh relaxing day so let's see what needs to come through with the cards look at that empowerment karmic lessons does that not just coincide with what the heck i just channeled and so we choose to incarnate with a bunch of people from past lives this lifetime when it comes to resolving these very painful past life lessons and experiences and so get ready to work through these painful lessons um, in the energies and this is where we turn these painful lessons into an opportunity for growth and expansion so we can harness healthy self-empowerment but we can't be empowered if we're not willing to take ownership of our lives we have to be accountable we have to take ownership of everything that we've created otherwise we cannot step into our highest potential so uh get ready to take a step in the right direction if you've been feeling like you've been going backwards i think with mercury in direct motion and now um in the sign of balance and uh, libra we're gonna be making progress. So we're going to get three cards, soul connection. So there is a very significant soul connection coming through, likely a karmic soul connection, playing a significant role for your soul's evolution. So a short-term karmic contract is likely coming to an end in order to get you to journey towards your true person. So get ready to purge and cleanse any karmic soul contracts out of your life that have created uh, these negative circumstances that have kept you connected to negative people and toxic behavior because we're learning these karmic lessons, right? And so I also feel somebody here has the ability uh, to channel spiritual energies and there is a need to release fear, fear of rejection, fear of not being accepted. Um, when we face our fears, because fear is an illusion and we take that leap of faith, uh, then we can really release all expectations and we can be open to receiving because somebody here is getting ready to make a big life decision. Life does not just happen to us. It does happen by conscious choice. And so when we bring this into our conscious awareness, then we can make choices for the better, right? 
we can make choices to better our lives and when we better our lives then we can better the lives of all of those that we are connected with and then we can step into this energy of imparting this ancestral wisdom right um, so listen listen intently to what your higher self is trying to bring forward in the energies today because we are breaking these chains we're breaking these trauma bonds we're breaking chains of addictions restrictions and freedom always does begin with a choice and i also feel there is a connection here a telepathic connection where you are connected to another in the spiritual realms but there is a karmic contract that needs to be released a short-term karmic contract that needs to be released before you can travel towards uh this telepathic connection so let's see Ooh. Let's see uh, what, what's being illuminated in the energies today. Hurt, secretly hurt. Wow, I'm just so, I'm just like, wow. So can't keep hiding this pain below the surface. We can't keep secretly pretending everything's okay when deep down inside we're deeply hurting. So get ready to go into the wound. Get ready for um, secrets to come to light that can harm you. But this is going to be a change for the better. So... Let's see what needs to come through. We live in the past. Uh, that just kind of flipped right in. So somebody's been secretly reliving the past, I feel, not wanting to look at this wound or actually overlooking it uh, way too much. Somebody's been in the dark night of the soul here. Yeah, somebody's ancestors have been watching over them as they relive the past in order to learn the lesson in its entirety. So we're living the past, regaining control taking a risk maybe when it comes to being emotionally vulnerable there's that libra energy balancing out a karmic situation i feel a, a telepathic soul connection here where a lot of people came between the two of you nine so nine is completion and so there's definitely been an imbalance here somebody's been in control of a situation they've been playing into their pride and their ego and this could even mean an ego death of some sort. Somebody's likely been masking their pain through addictions or living the past. And somebody's life has been spiraling out of control. And it's kind of time to get back on track. To maybe take a risk and, and be emotionally vulnerable. So this is like rebirth energy. Um, and so I do feel there is a, there is a, a situation in the balance and there is a fresh start here and somebody is missing somebody deeply, but they're going to have to release their pride and their ego in order to kind of get back on track. So let's jump in with the tarot and see uh, what else needs to come through. Look at that. Taking those steps to go towards a brand new emotional experience. There's a beautiful emotional experience here. Dolphins made for life. So I feel somebody has manifested a life partnership, a brand new emotional experience, and somebody has planned well for the long term. This is like manifestation energy, right? Your ships are coming in, and if you notice that full moon on the card, so I feel abundance is coming from some past decisions, and somebody is releasing their pride um, when it comes to taking those next steps. This is an awakening moment for sure. Awakening to maybe a telepathic connection, some psychic insights when it comes to this new emotional experience. This is big, big love, right? Big, big love. And so get ready to receive a message, a letter, a phone call, a reach out. Somebody is taking a risk when it comes to a connection they're awakening to uh, that they are telepathically connected to. And this is like the wait is over taking those steps right so let's do a nine card spread guys and see what else needs to come through uh when it comes to these energies today what main message needs to come through collectively keep in mind this is not sign specific guys but i will call you any zodiac signs that i do feel need mentioning throughout the reading uh job loss maybe somebody's recently gone through a job loss um Financial fears, for sure. A bad investment, perhaps. Uh, but let's see. The Five of Cups. The Sun. Wise Counsel Reverse. So somebody received poor counsel. Somebody was definitely misguided here. And this is the breakdown of a foundation that is no longer working. Taurus energy. Leo energy. There's going to be an epiphany that will break somebody free from a false foundation that was not uh, guided for them. Like this is not a higher connection. This is not a connection that is 
you know, spiritually minded or in unity consciousness, somebody's been focusing on the negative, quite possibly this emperor in reversed. And I feel there's going to be an epiphany that breaks somebody free from a tyrant of some sort, Aries energy. There is a, a divine masculine here, not acting very divine, refusing to accept a leadership position. And they've been focusing on the negative, maybe when it comes to a missed opportunity. Uh, there was a deep spiritual connection here, and I think something came between two people that were meant to be together, and there's somebody here trying to find the hidden blessings in an ego death is what I'm feeling. And there is a, mas a masculine here that has been reliving the past when it comes to um, a past romance. This could be the return of somebody from the past that was not willing to invest in you. This could be a huge, huge loss. Then we get the Three of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the Three of Cups reverse. So breaking free from an entrapped third-party situation. And look at that. I feel somebody is on the defense. Somebody is being challenged for sure. For sure. Maybe they're needing to defend themselves against several accusations. Um, I do feel Mars energy, a need to take action, a need to communicate. I see the masculine and the feminine energies coming through here. We have the moon, we have Mercury, and we have Saturn. And so a major lesson in commitment coming through, balancing of the inner masculine and feminine. Oh, and I see the Chiron. So there's a core wound here. Maybe somebody did not feel worthy of commitment. There's a need to communicate some hidden emotions and it will lead to a beautiful, brand new, amazing opportunity <coughs> if somebody can be brave. I feel there's secrets here. Somebody's been hiding their true intentions. Somebody fears taking action maybe because they got tempted. I feel the opening of some Akashic records when it comes to some intuitive gifts and some divine inspiration and wisdom that has been received. So there's really no other players on the board but this emperor in reverse. So there is a masculine energy. It doesn't have to be a man. You could be a woman har harnessing masculine energies. And so uh, there's a need uh, to use your logic if you want increased success in your life. And really, I only see Leo, Aries, and Taurus coming through, Pisces with the High Priestess. And so somebody's been revisiting some old plans, an old dream, maybe romanticizing how things used to be when it comes to something that they were not willing to invest in. There is going to be a breaking free of an entrapped third party situation, quite possibly the cancellation of an engagement, because right between the Eight of Swords reversed is the Three of Wands and then the Three of Cups reversed. Three is, is you know, three is a crowd, right? And so... I feel somebody's really lacked confidence and they've lacked accountability. They're feeling helpless uh, and they're needing to take responsibility for a choice that they made. They're needing to take those steps uh, to, to stand up for what it is they believe in and to have confidence when it comes to going after what it is that they are passionate about. And so I feel there's been an extended period of grieving here. Maybe this has been three to five years of grieving. And there's going to be an epiphany about a missed magical opportunity, divinely guided change here in order for somebody to master structure and discipline. The Six of Cups within six days expect somebody to return from the past, somebody that you had a romantic connection with in the past. That was a missed opportunity because they're taking those guided steps forward. So let's take a look at the Five of Cups because there was an extended period of grieving. I'd like to see what this was all about. The Nine of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Seven of Cups. I feel somebody's getting a wake-up call. I think, you know, the Nine of Pentacles is pre-Empress. That's a true pair on the board. We have a very single pre-Empress energy here who has worked hard. She's single. She wants for nothing. She could be a business owner. She's grounded. She's stable. And I feel she's moving on. She's not, she's no longer holding on to this past regret or this pain or, you know, things not turning out the way she anticipated. I feel she's worked hard to transform her life. She's happy. She's successful. She's quite enjoying her solitude. Could be dealing with the cancer. And I feel this nine of pentacles has many options coming in. 
And so this is going to get this emperor in reverse to stop procrastinating, uh, to stop procrastinating and to uh, make a decision. If they want to come forward, they're going to have to make a choice. I also feel a uh, pre-empress here that has many options to choose from. I also feel addictions has held somebody back from coming in and having success with this nine of pentacles. Um, and so there's going to be a rebalancing of priorities. I feel a lot of things are happening at once in order for somebody to find their determination and their willpower to come in with some public recognition. And I feel somebody's been withholding communication and coming forward uh, when it comes to maybe seeking forgiveness. There's a masculine here facing all kinds of financial struggles, extreme financial struggles, uh, because they've been hoarding their emotions. And so I think it's time to come out of this mental exhaustion. It's time to make a final decision. If you want the resurgence of somebody from the past, uh, forgiveness is going to be needed. And somebody is definitely bottoming out. And that Aries full moon, I feel, has brought in an awakening for somebody to see things in a whole new light because somebody, you know, was not listening to their intuition. They were operating out of fear, unnecessary worry, deep-seated fears, not paying attention to the divine. They've not been listening to the divine and so a revelation is making something crystal clear when it comes to seeing things in a whole new light and breaking free from an old belief system, an old mindset that has kept somebody stuck when it comes to making these significant life changes. Unexpected revelations is going to break this person free, I feel. So let's take a look at this epiphany. Let's take a look at the sun energy, Leo energy. What is this epiphany? King of Swords reversed, Eight of Pentacles reversed, Five of Swords reversed. Uh, somebody walked away from wish fulfillment and I think nothing is turning out in their life anymore. There's an epiphany when it comes to breaking free from a situation that's no longer working. Um, there's likely going to be a very quick exit out of a situation. We've got somebody here that's been lying not honest, not communicating clearly, very, very dishonest energy, borderline narcissistic energy. We all have narcissism, let me just uh, say that. So I feel an epiphany of a very unwise choice that likely has led to a job loss of some sort because of these questionable motives. There's somebody here that's lacked integrity. They've not communicated clearly. They've been very emotionally unavailable. They were not there for somebody. They were, and I feel somebody's losing a lot of respect. Breaking free from a very toxic situation that's definitely not wish fulfillment uh, is kind of what I'm feeling. So somebody took a gamble and they went in the wrong direction. And I feel uh, now their person or who they see as their person is like going full steam ahead in another direction. So let's take a look at this Six of Cups. Because there's a lot of memories here and there's a need to embrace some deep inner child healing when it comes to an abandonment wound in order for somebody to take action towards a beautiful new emotional experience. But there's going to be a need to heal a, a past misunderstanding where I feel both of you were deeply hurt. Uh, maybe it's taken you three years to heal this past disappointment and to embrace the personal growth that has come through uh, these challenges and this karmic uh, lesson. There's going to be an opportunity to heal a past heartbreak here, but I feel somebody fears abandonment. They have fears surrounding money with the Five of Pentacles. This could be a ghosting situation where somebody used um, ghosting as a form of manipulation or to hurt somebody, but I feel this King of Wands has been watching this Nine of Pentacles not communicating, watching, lurking in the shadows, probably stalking somebody's so social media. And I feel somebody is getting ready to publicly speak their fears, to step into the spotlight. They've got their eyes on the prize and they know if they are to come forward, they're going to have to communicate everything, the whole truth and nothing but the truth if they want this new emotional experience. There's gonna have to be a, a very open-hearted discussion about this deep-seated pain and I feel uh, preparing to accept a leadership position I think there's fear that they will not be accepted that they will not be forgiven 
This is no, forgiveness is not granted, but I feel a very unexpected arrival when it comes to a past missed opportunity because the time is now to get this major wake up call. So let's take a look at the three of wands. This is planning for the future. I don't wanna look at the third party because I really don't feel that that's uh, relevant anymore. And so I feel somebody is going within right now shining light on their negative vices, the hermit, Virgo energy, the strength reverse, Leo, lacking the strength. Somebody's been a cowardly lion here. They've been afraid to uh, assert their personal power and maybe to come forward to seek forgiveness, but there's going to be a realization when it comes to needing to communicate. They're going to have to communicate now if they want to have a chance. So there's gonna be travel and somebody is going to be facing their fears and taking those steps forward. So uh, I do feel somebody's been stuck in a power struggle with somebody wanting to win at all costs, you know, tit for tat energy in that five of swords and breaking free, having faith in the future. There's going to be light at the end of the tunnel and there is going to be a brand new opportunity to start with a clean slate but something needs to be walked away from. A very imbalanced situation needs to be walked away from and somebody has to consciously choose to make these big life changes. There's going to be a change in priority. Somebody is leaving a home situation behind where it's not been filled with equality. There's not been equal giving and receiving. There's somebody paying back some karmic debt and they know the time is now to take action towards this empress. So if you're this empress, get ready to receive a message. I also feel a divine feminine here uh, receiving abundance and prosperity from her past choices. This could lead to a beautiful new creative project that will bring a lot of success into somebody's life, but they're going to have to take action is a big message. So let's, uh, let's get a couple last messages with the crystal stone deck, guys. So somebody I feel has been exploring their hidden depths. They're digging themselves out of a hole. Uh, they're digging themselves out of a prison of worry, this indecision. They've constructed a big mess around their lives. And so I think they they uh, were materialistic. They were vain. They were always craving the next shiny thing, especially if you're dealing with a Leo. And uh, somebody needs to stop chasing these shiny things if they're going to shake off this shallowness. And I feel they've been diving into the deep into the deep, rolling in the deep when it comes to uh, finding their strength to speak their truth because they're feeling very disconnected from a lot of things. And uh, they have something to express without a doubt. And so somebody I feel has recently gone AWOL and uh, they're getting ready to speak up. They know it's time to speak up. It's the energy of like speak now or forever hold your peace. So Look at the heart energy. Go with your heart. Take care of your heart. We got rose quartz and we got road tonight. And so somebody was really against opening up their heart. And now they're begging the universe, begging the universe. What do I need to do? What do I need to do to, to fix this? So somebody has been brought right down to the bottom in order to drop the mask, to drop the people pleasing facade and to start doing something that really brings them passion, that really lights them up. And so somebody's been rapidly spinning out of control, maybe a Sagittarius, in order to release this over self-critical energy uh, when it comes to a spiritual connect connection where I feel there is a lot of deep love here and the two of you are to work with the healing arts together. And so somebody's been needing to create space in their life for this sacred connection. And, and I feel somebody is ready to put in the hard work when it comes to taking care of their heart and healing a connection, and they're getting ready to ascend on their rightful throne. More Leo energy. My nose is really itchy. There is, without a doubt, a deep past life connection here. Somebody is now convinced as to who they were in a past life, maybe all the way back to ancient Egypt or the Old Testament. Somebody here is a high priest or a high priestess, and this is a connection as part of the golden age of Aquarius, and so, Somebody's really been dishonoring this connection. They've been dishonoring their thoughts. They've been listening to friends that really aren't their friends. And they've gotten themselves into a pickle is what I want to say. And so somebody needs to, needs to suit up in their armor. And I feel somebody is coming in on bended knee in order to restore a connection that is in perfect light. So uh, somebody's going through a psycho-spiritual scrub here, guys. 
and uh, they're coming in with pure intentions because they're shedding all of these negative vices. They're getting out of this victim routine and uh, releasing these emotional vampires out of their life. And, and they're getting ready to uh, dig themselves out of this gutter. So that's kind of what I got for a message today, guys. I hope this helped. I hope this resonated. If you would like to book a personal or a twin soul reading with me, check out the description box below, guys. And I do look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thank you.